Okay, we got a new one here from Morgan, uh, from Bronco Living to What. You know, one of the things people have been talking about on my channel and all, all over the internet, all over YouTube, ch hundreds and hundreds of channels is, what should Morgan do with that Bronco, you know? I mean, you know, it, it is requiring constant repair. She put an air conditioner on the back that's falling off. The, the, it's leaking. It keeps conking out. It doesn't start. She put a hole in the, in the driver's seat there so she can, you know, do her business on the road without having to stop. I mean, it's, come on. it's time for a new vehicle, okay? And, you know, she does talk about all the different problems she has in her life and how hard it is living on the road and all this other stuff. How about take away all that stress, all the stress that the Bronco has given her, given her, um, and get away and get a reliable vehicle that runs well, that has some more room in it for her and her three dogs, etc. Something like this, right? <laughs> there, there it is. Is that is this what is this what uh, Morgan's gonna buy? Um, I, maybe you know, if she had the money, this might just be the uh, vehicle, and it certainly would be stealthy, wouldn't it? Nobody noticed that parked in their neighborhood. Uh, so she does go through a, a rather lengthy. Uh, rather lengthy search for various vehicles. I think what she's saying is she likes Fords because, you know, she's worked on her Ford Bronco. She says while she's not a mechanic, she does have, uh, you know, she does kind of know how the Ford stuff works. So she's kind of leaning to another Ford product, perhaps a pickup truck, something like that, that maybe, and then she could pull some sort of a trailer, you know, I don't know, or maybe a camper van, you know, again, you know, we're looking at, you know, a camper, like a camper on the back of the truck, like you see, like a Rob Littlehouse off grid used to have. Anyway, she is uh, obviously uh, going through the various uh, pluses and minuses of different kinds of vehicles and which would be best for her. I don't know. You know, again, I would say. You know, if she likes the Bronco, you know, go maybe find another used Bronco or something. There is that new Bronco out, the new Ford Bronco, but that again has gotten some sketchy reviews. I don't know, a Ford, a good size Ford pickup with, you know, good towing capacity and then a, a good, some either a, you know, camper shell or perhaps a trailer to pull. Something she could detach from the trailer and then, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. You know, I, I, you know, again, it depends on how much money she's going to want to spend on it. You know, Morgan does okay building her YouTube channel. She could do some fundraisers. Obviously, she does very well with that. It's a money question and whatever. So anyway, so, uh, you know, and, you know, it, and, and what is the future of Morgan's life? Does she want to stay on the road? Is that where she wants to keep going, traveling around? You know, she was talking the other day about buying some land. She was talking the other day about getting an apartment in Tennessee. You know, she is showing signs that she may be starting to get ready to settle down a little bit and, you know, you know, which is not uh, abnormal for as you get older. It's kind of nice to not be on the road all the time. So I don't know, maybe spend money on a nice uh, truck camper, uh, Ford, and then maybe some money on some property or an apartment or something so she can at least have a home base or something. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Oh my God, the big reveal, RV Jedi David. He used to be, he used to be a sportscaster in the DC area. I do remember him from my days in the Washington DC area. Anyway, he's now lives in Wisconsin and uh, he has this big honking class A and he took it out for an initial spin back in the early spring there in the beautiful uh, chilly uh, showery weather of Wisconsin. And he got a few miles down the road and realized that the roof was peeling off. The roof had, it was like flapping around in the wind there. And, and he had to make a mad dash back to his, thankfully he's got a nice little uh, storage locker for it. So it's been parked there ever since. And he's been doing some car camping in his SUV there to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, satisfy his need for, you know, travel and, and exp exploration. But now he is uh, dealing with uh, time to, time to, <laughs> time to, you know, cough up some dough and get that, uh, get that RV uh, roof fixed and, you know, get back out on the road, you know, in a, in a real, you know, RV, not in a car.
Uh, isn't that a beautiful summer there in Wisconsin? <laughs> isn't that beautiful? Man! But of course, uh, you know, you got to get the uh, RV out of that storage locker area there and get it out to the repair place. And you can't do that if it won't start. So it's been sitting there for a couple months. So yeah, finally, finally, victory! <laughs> After fit, futzing with it and everything else, it starts! This reminds me of, you know, he's a big movie fan. He likes Star Wars. How about 2012? What was that movie? It was 2001, and then they did the the uh, sequel, 2012, I think it was, or whatever that was. Uh, anyway, they had to restart uh, how the computer there and the discovery there on Jupiter. Remember that when there's going around Jupiter with, with uh, yeah, they had to re restart that, and and they had to like. It, this reminds me of that movie. That's the movie I'm looking for. 2010. That, yeah, 2012 was another Never mind. 2010, the year we made contact, Roy Scheider has to, and Helen Mirren, she's the Russian commander there. She, they have to go back and, you know, they left uh, the 2001 the movie, you know, Space Odyssey, the old Stanley Kubrick film. They left uh, How the Computer and the Discovery there, you know, in, orbiting Jupiter. And he has, and anyway, they have to go restart How. And it kind of reminds me a lot. This is kind of the same thing. Now, <laughs> he's restarting the spaceship. <laughs> getting ready for a new mission. Right, so uh, get that vehicle out of there, get it to the repair shop, and get the new roof put on. It's all in the works. So hopefully by August, he said, uh, yeah, a couple weeks of work. I don't know. He'll By August, he'll be back in the RV and back on the road. No more of that crappy car camping, right? And that was a joke. Uh, uh, car camping can be really cool. SUV RVing, that's a great channel there out in Idaho. No, I like car camping, but... Uh, you know, and an SUV you can have a lot of room. I'm, I'm just saying, that was a joke. That was a joke. But yeah, RV time for Dave. Yeah, yeah. Holy cow, some excitement here in one of Rosie's live streams there in California. She's driving around, nice, having a nice time. And all of a sudden, she pops up on this uh, police activity there with the ambulance and everything else going on. Some man is, uh, let's just say some man is freaking out. Some guy is freaking out and uh, everybody's uh, drawn, looking to see what's going on. It's at the two hour, 14 minute section of Rosie's video. Are you ready for adventure? Yeah. You know, it is, uh, it is a wild world. Anyway, yes, so, so a lot of uh, activity and drama there in Rosie's new video. Uh, usually, you know, she's just quietly kind of you know, exploring these California towns and showing us some haunted things and some beautiful seaside stuff, but... Uh, now, every now and then she stumbles upon some uh, real human drama, and this was no exception. And uh, so anyway, they're getting ready to uh, take this guy uh, for some treatment, I, wherever he is. Yeah, he's, uh, anyway, so, uh, mm, I don't know, man. It's a crazy, it's a, as Cat Stevens once said, oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. All right, the other day we had a uh, couple there up in Ohio that uh, a tornado-ish storm came down and, uh, Threw a tree down right there on their Class A and uh, did some... I, I don't know if it got totaled or what, but we haven't heard an update on that. But this is Missouri Travelers, Mark Twain Lake, hit by a possible tornado, and we also have some storm damage there. It does look like there's some maybe some damage... I, I don't know. It's uh, it's not a direct hit. It's kind of a uh, brushing of the vehicle, but you got to be careful when you are parking... You know, in one of these beautiful wooded lots there, wherever you are, boondocking or in a campground, uh, be very careful, especially during thunderstorms. If trees fall, you know, this one, you know, obviously kind of uh, kind of just scrimped, skimped by the vehicle there. But, uh, you know, if that vehicle had been parked a few feet over a little bit further, it might have really gotten a whopping from it. But uh, looks like someone lucked out there. But anyway, uh, be careful, you know, it's, especially in thunderstorms. Yeah, it looks like they're in pretty good shape there. But be careful when you're parking and a thunderstorm is coming and you may want to take some shelter. Uh, be careful of the trees. Ooh, a lot of things to worry about when you're out there living the simple life on the road, right? Hey, I'd like to do a shout out to Mr. Black Bugatti, Black Bigelow, a.k.a. Lamont at Large, Lamont. Uh, he is up in New Jersey now. Uh, he dropped his... Uh, Trailer off at Shimei's place. She is our star, mo one of our star moderators here on the Camo Dave channel. And she is uh, babysitting his trailer for a while while he will be traveling around in his vehicle there uh, doing some explorations uh, around the Northeast. We hear Baltimore's on his uh, itinerary uh, and some other places in the Northeast. And then he will be um, 
heading back to New Jersey and doing some uh, explorations with Shimei. So I hope she has some really cool, uh, cool, interesting uh, scenes of uh, various. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, she, he does. He focuses on cemetery stuff with his Lamont at Large channel, and you know, and true crimeish stuff. So anyway, good channel. Anyway, he was on our chat last night. Uh, he showed up, uh, made a, we have the call-in show at 7 p.m. Eastern time, and he called in, and he was sharing his opinions about Morgan and uh, Eric, Derek, and um, I did take the video down, I mean, it's still up, but it's down, you know what I'm saying, because I like to, you know, I don't know, he did say some controversial things, again, for him, that's nothing, but for my channel, I gotta be super careful. So, but anyway, it was fun having uh, Mr. Uh, Lamont there last night. And, you know, I did interview him back in 2018. And, uh, you know, hey, uh, if I was up in the D.C. area, you know, he was in Baltimore, maybe we could uh, collaborate. I'd like to thank Brenda, Kathy, Ether Bunny, April, Janice, Marco, uh, Nampa Nana, Texta Sturgis, um, Marsha, Fantastic Odyssey, Sunny Girl, Black Bigelow. Thank you all for your very kind super chat donations yesterday on my two chats. I'd also like to thank, always like to thank, yeah, and some other folks who made some PayPal's too, which uh, shall be uh, anonymous at the moment. But I do appreciate all your support. That's right. Every Saturday we do a uh, 9:30 a.m. chat in the morning, and then we do a 7 p.m. chat in the evening. And the 7 p.m. one you know, gets a little bit out there, and so uh, you know you gotta you gotta be careful and uh, so, to watch the chat. And then you'll definitely catch it, and you know you may not be available later, but uh, that's where it is. So, anyway, that's it. It's Sunday. It's Sunday, the eleventh uh, of July. Almost all the way halfway through July. Wow! And uh, thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I hope it stays dry, and you get out and get some picnicy stuff done today, and have a great one. And I will chat with you later, Gator Vlog under.